Hello everyone. So um, just about to set out for a little excursion for uh, the day. It's supposed to rain later on this afternoon. So um, as I think I've already mentioned in uh, previous, previously in this video, um, just base camping out of uh, my good friend Scott's place here uh, in Godrich, right, sandwiched right between the uh, mighty Maitland River and Balls Creek, very historic creek and a bridge. I'm not sure if I'm going to go that way today. I think I'm going to go and check out the start of where I'm going to be heading to do the G2G. I'm just trying to figure out when I'm going to be able to do that because the weather's not looking spectacular for the next four or five days. So we'll see. I mean, if it's going to be raining for four or five days, I'd rather be somewhere where I'm set up and not trying to scramble. So, and I'm really just going by the seat of my pants right now until the stay at home order is over. So yeah, I'm just going to head out now and I will catch up with you in a bit. Thanks guys. Talk to you in a bit. Well guys, a beautiful day for a bike ride. <coughs> Excuse me. There's supposed to be some more, some rain today. So interesting to see uh, what happens. Downy woodpecker off to the right. I've been seeing some uh, biliated woodpeckers which for those that aren't familiar, they are the bigger woodpeckers, black, white. Males have the red cap. Very large woodpeckers, very vocal. Very cool to see. I hadn't seen one in my whole life until I moved to Fernie. Then I saw one there, so that was 2017. <coughs> I've seen a couple since then, so, and I'm 51, so, hey cows, how you doing, little baby cow, you see how shaky the footage looks, I got this on my uh, new, one of my new positions that I'm hoping works out, so, alright, I guess we go straight here, yeah. So I will be stopping and making some lunch. Got a really late start, just kind of taking my time. No, no hurry. It's been a, it was a long winter, guys. So uh, I got some mental rust to shake off here. I can't think of a better way to do it. Maitland's on the left here, but you won't be able to see it. Somewhat encouraged by the legs. Yesterday I did a little over 40 with Scott. Felt reasonably good. Gorgeous day for riding. and you can see those they're impressive sometimes when it uh, branches get cut off a tree that's what the tree will do to protect itself so from dying um, if a tree like that dies and you cut those off with like a chainsaw or a saw you can make really cool bowls and stuff out of them so it's a little something I've seen somewhere it's starting to get greener every day and if it does rain for four or five days, then it'll explode. So there's always, I guess, some positive.
Alright guys, I'm going to try and ride my bike down here and have lunch. I think it's private property and if someone comes and says something, I will apologize and leave. spot. Imagine camping here. Yep. Perfect spot to camp. Alright guys, just had a little snack as you uh, can see I had some uh, Nutella, well no name Nutella, and um, on a wrap, so look at this spot, I uh, no guys, it's beautiful, so I will try and find out what uh, markers this spot is between, if you're looking for a spot to camp, right in here tucked in would be a great spot, I can't see the river rising high enough to be a problem, so um, just a gorgeous spot Fairly sheltered from the wind on that side obviously, but There was somebody in a truck right there, so I'm Not sure if they saw me or not But um, Oftentimes if you are on someone's property and they come and talk to you and you are civil and polite they will let you stay, but in the off chance they don't, well, that's certainly their prerogative. So yeah, there is an old uh, rail trestle. It's not a trestle, but an old rail crossing. Um, I will find out what na the name of this creek is. That's the really nice thing about being so close to a big body of water like Lake Huron. There's creeks everywhere around here, so very good trout fishing in this area. A little late, Scott said. It looked like they had, he said he thought they had been in the river earlier, so story of my life. I'm sure there's still some fish to be caught, though. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, get things packed up here and probably start heading back to the house because uh, the air is feeling like it might rain and it is supposed to rain later on this afternoon. So if uh, you don't have to get caught in the rain, then why get caught in the rain? So uh, yeah, I'm going to head back. I'll do a little recording uh, on the way back and I'll get back to you later. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner tonight because if it is raining, I do need to get another tarp, just a cheaper tarp for a little more... Uh, living area when it is raining so um, yeah just some thoughts and uh, I'll get back to you later guys just really enjoying getting out of the house it was a it was a long go so I think I already said that and I may say it again so I will talk to you guys in a bit and uh, hope everybody's doing good bye so guys I don't know if you can see that But that little beauty of a spot to have lunch, or even better, to camp, is right after, like literally 100, 150 feet after that bridge. So at 110 kilometer marker of the G2G rail trail. So keep that in mind if you're doing, if you're looking to do a little more of a wild camping type thing like I'm looking for. riding um, it's gonna rain soon so I think I'm just gonna wrap today up um, that's pretty much what the next 
I would say two to three weeks maybe will be me doing day trips out of here. So the next five to seven days, there's a lot of rain in the forecast. So we're going to have to play each day by ear, but, uh, or eye, if you will. And uh, we'll see what happens. I have some, pla some trips planned that I would like to do. So there's one uh, that trail that uh, Scott told me about that I'd like to do tomorrow, but I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like. So um, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to just have a quick meal and uh, it's still early, but I'm probably just going to hang around in the tent, uh, relax a bit. I don't know, I might break out the laptop and edit up a bit of what I have already. So I don't know. I just wanted to sign off for today. So we'll call today day two from the Maitland Base Camp. Signing out.